Get ready with me, butterfly edition. So I definitely don't recommend French braids on a day when you did a serious arm workout. <laughs> My bad. So I'm definitely not the greatest at French braids, but I'm gonna show you a hairstyle that I really like. And my hair is very layered, so I do have sticky outies, but I'm going to show you a way to cover those up and have a cute hairstyle. So each of the little sections um, where the braid, where you like redo the braid, if that makes sense, I'll show you, but you're going to add butterflies. Specifically these butterflies, I got off of Amazon, like so. So you see how it covers up the imperfections and it's also following the braid pretty evenly spaced. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, and here is the finished look. Again, not perfect, but I've tucked in all the hair pieces. Oh, gotta tuck that one in. <laughs> Super cute. My hair took way too long, so I don't have all that much time to get ready. So we're gonna do a real quick makeup look, but still cute. So this palette's by LA Colors. It's called Hot, and I'm going to put this color on my lid. Now if you buy these palettes, you can get them for $4.50 at Dollar General. Just beware that you're so soft. They're so soft that they can be crumbly. So what I'm doing is I wet my brush with that setting spray method, my flat brush, and I'm tapping it onto my lid. And I'm also using my eyeshadow guard because we don't want crumbles all over our face. And I'm going to add a matte shade on my lid crease and I'm gonna go with this color. I added that color to my bottom lid as well and I'm going to deeper the outer V with this color. I've got the LA Colors Liquid Eyeshadow from Dollar Tree for $1.25 on my inner eyelids for shine and you're just gonna take after you apply your fingertips and you're gonna tap to get ready rid of any harsh edges. Also to just be aware you kind of have to hold your eyes like this in order for it to dry. And then I put some metallic liquid liner. Something I wanted to be more aware of as I apply the white is because it's a primer, it can create a harsh edge, which I saw a little bit yesterday. So as I'm doing my bright eye, I'm making sure to just kind of blend down here. So then that way there isn't that harsh, um, very concealed edge. Okay, I've got catwalk pink for my blush. I've got rosy and ready for my eye. I put Kusa Metallic on my lips. And I've got my butterfly earrings in. And this is the finished look. Have a great day.